Hi, this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. And in this video, we're going to use a tool called Pixlr. It is a photo editing tool, very similar to Photoshop without the expensive price that goes along with Photoshop. And in this video, we're actually going to learn how to crop an image. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to visit this website at Pixlr.com. And it's spelled P-I-X-L-R.com. Now, once you get to Pixlr, there is a set of menu bars across the top here. And where we want to go is to our Pixlr editor. So we'll click on Pixlr editor. Now, once you're presented at the Pixlr editor, you have three options here. You can create a brand new image from the clipboard and it will open up Pixlr and you can just start with a fresh new image. If you have an image on your computer, you can open that image from your computer or if the image already exists on the web somewhere, you can take the URL of the image and pull it into Pixlr. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open an image from our computer. So as we open up our image, we're going to go and look into one of our folders here and choose a picture. And I've got a picture of myself during my younger years in the military. And what you'll see is, is that we have a picture of, uh, of myself here. And what we want to do is we want to crop this picture down to a 115 by 115. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image and then click on image size. And you'll notice that currently the picture is 340 by 533. And I want to make sure that we keep our checkbox here for constraint proportions. If you uncheck that and you start messing around with the width and height of your picture, you're going to skew it and it's going to look really weird. So the first thing that I do is I take the lowest number, which is 340, and I'm going to turn that into 115. And so what that does is that's going to reduce the image, but it's going to keep the dimensions. So you'll see that the height is now 180. So we'll click OK. And now you'll see the photo here is a little bit smaller. Now also notice that we're at 85% here. We're showing this photo at 85%. If you like to see this photo at 100%, you can do 100% and that now shows you the photo. And you'll see the size of the photo is 115 by 180. But we want a 115 by 115 um, size of this particular picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left hand side and I'm going to select this little marquee tool. It looks like a box with red dots around it. I'm going to select that tool. And as we're dragging this tool on the picture, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the navigator here on the right hand side and you will notice the width and height. So first of all, we know that the width is 118. So I can just put my cursor anywhere and drag all the way across as far as it will go. And if you look over to the right and look at the navigator, you'll see that the width is 115. So I don't have to worry about uh, the width now. Now what I want to do is I want to drag my mouse down. And as I'm dragging my mouse down, I'm watching the height. And as we get closer to 115 on the right hand side, there we go, I can release. Now that I have uh, have released, I can now move this image by just putting my mouse in the center and move my box around, however I want to move this box around, okay? So if I need to move the box, I can do that. I'm going to leave the box put, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to click on cut or copy. The choice is yours. I'm going to cut this image for right now. So we'll click cut. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image. So I'll go to file, new, and then it's going to ask me to name my image. So I'm going to name my image Navy. Since that's me in my Navy uniform, and what I want is a 115, by 115 image and I click OK and now you'll see that the Navy image is here to the right hand side now what I need to do is I need to paste what I just cut so I go back to edit and I'll click paste and now you will see that I have now pasted the image and it is a 115 by 115 image 
I will now save this image. So we'll go to File, Save. You'll see that it says Navy. And it asks me, what do I do, want to do with my image? I want to save it to my computer. And I want to increase my quality. I want my quality to be 100% here. So I'll increase the quality. You'll also notice that I can give it multiple formats. But JPEG is going to be a great format for us. So I'll do JPEG. And then I will click OK. And then it will ask me where do I want to put this. For now, let's put it on our desktop. So we've saved the image to our desktop. Now I can go to my desktop. And I see navy.jpg here on my desktop. If I click that, it's going to open up and you'll see there's my photo. So this is a very quick and easy way to crop your image. It is very simple to do. And Pixlr is free. So that web address again is www.pixlr.com. Take care. God bless.